I just wanted to take you on a quick walk around of our 2005 Turbo S Cabriolet. Let's have a look. Apologize, it's a little bit windy underneath our awning here today, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Just want to point out real quickly on the exterior, any kind of little blemish that I can find. There's one here, uh, I'm going to point out on the fender, it's got a really small little dent that some paintless dent repair should take care of. The wheels check out fantastic, the, ch the top checks out really nice. The back, the previous owner, the S emblem broke off uh, when he was washing it, so uh, he tried to repair that, so obviously we got to get this taken care of, remove the old emblem, put a new one on, uh, and kind of clean up the surface where he tried to reattach it. I want to point out to anybody that's uh, used to these cars, the, notice the spoiler is extended evenly. That's a nice sign. And there's one little ding on the wheel here that I can find. Uh, but the car checks out just amazing, a little less than 11,000 miles. So it looks like 10,832 miles on the odometer. I'll start it up here real quick. Alright, it's got our carbon fiber package with the center console, the surround on the radio, uh, and then in our instrument cluster area. Nice features that he didn't do it up on the dash when he ordered the car uh, or the steering wheel um, because you can get, if you see that right there, a little bit of cracking on the shift knob, uh, but that would be the entire top of the dash if there was carbon fiber up there. Uh, doesn't look like anybody's been in the back seat, which is pretty typical. Our cover here, so we have the hard top for the car. You can see our tools, or our tool, I should say, uh, for removing that. So we had the hard top on it when we first got it. But the car checks out really, really nice. It dries fantastic. Uh, it does need to get in for service, which will get all that taken care of. Um, but everything works really well, and actually just real fast. We'll go ahead and work the top so you can see that. Keep going, keep going. There, it drops into place. Once our warning light goes out, we're all set. Perfect. So I hope this helps explain the car a little bit more in detail. Thank you very much.